In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the powers of the imaginary unit i, the square root of minus 1. Are you ready? Let's discover the maths. Let's see how we can figure out any power of i, that is i raised to the n, properly. We know that i raised to the n is i multiplied by itself n times, but we're not going to calculate the result this way. Let's start with i raised to the power of 0. Well, whenever we have an exponent of 0, the result is 1. We also know that anything to the power of 1 is itself, so i raised to the 1 is i. Next, i squared is the square root of minus 1 squared. The root and the square cancel, so we obtain minus 1. Moving on to i cubed, this is i squared times i, and since i squared is minus 1, the result is minus i. i to the fourth is i squared times i squared, which is minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. i to the 5 is i to the 4 times i, and since i to the 4 is 1, this is 1 times i, which is i. And in the same way, i to the 6 is i to the 4 times i squared, and since i squared is minus 1, this is 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1. Reasoning in the same way, i to the 7 equals minus i, and i to the 8 equals 1. Notice the pattern. 1, i, minus 1, minus i, 1, i, minus 1, minus i. It repeats in a cycle. We have a loop. When these things happen in math, there's usually a trick that allows you to get results efficiently. Suppose we want to calculate i to the n for values of n greater than or equal to 4. We divide n by 4, obtaining a quotient and a remainder. As you know, the dividend is equal to the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. In our case, n equals 4 times c plus r. Substituting this in i to the n, this is i raised to the 4 times c plus r, which is i to the 4 times c times i to the r. We can express i to the 4c as i to the 4 all raised to the c, and this is times i to the r i to the 4 is 1, which is raised to the power of c, still giving 1, times i to the r, leaving us with i to the r. So i raised to the n is the same as i raised to the r, where r is the remainder of dividing n by 4. Let's look at some examples where we can apply this result. Say we want to calculate i to the power of 1183. If we divide 1183 by 4, we get a remainder of 3, so our problem reduces to i to the 3, which is minus i. Again, to calculate i to the 2002, we divide 2002 by 4, giving a remainder of 2, so our calculation simplifies to i squared, which is minus 1. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.